As of 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, November 6, 2025, shares of Navitest Semiconductor, ticker NVTS, are trading at $9.89, up just slightly, about 0.20% on the day. But this tiny green number, this apparent calm, is perhaps the most misleading piece of data on the market today. It completely hides the absolute carnage and the strategic bombshell that just vaporized a massive portion of the company's valuation over the last 48 hours. While today's trading seems stable, NVTS is sitting in the crater of a 14.6% collapse just yesterday, which itself came after a 9% drop the day before. This isn't a dip, it's a fundamental repricing, a violent reaction to a corporate narrative being torn up and rewritten live. The expectation, the story that propelled this stock up over 198% year-to-date, was that Navitas was the anointed heir to the power semiconductor throne, the pure play on gallium nitride and silicon carbide that would power everything from our phones to NVIDIA's next-generation AI factories. The reality, delivered just two days ago on their third quarter earnings call, is that the company is performing a painful emergency pivot, effectively setting its old business on fire to make way for a new one that isn't fully built yet. Let's establish what everyone believed, because this is a story of extreme whiplash. The common ground for every bull was that Navitas was the future. They are the specialists in next-generation wideband gap semiconductors. Their GANFAST technology is for high-frequency, high-efficiency power conversion, and their GeneSick technology handles the high-voltage, high-temperature applications. This dual-pronged approach, mastering both materials, was seen as their key advantage. The market narrative was simple. Silicon is old and slow. GAN and CIC are the future. The story was turbocharged by high-profile design wins, especially the recent announcement that Navitas was selected as a power partner for NVIDIA's new 800-volt DC AI factory architecture. For the market, this was it. This was the link. NVTS was no longer just a fancy charger company. It was a core component of the AI build-out. This belief sent the stock to all-time highs just days ago, with retail investors on platforms like Reddit and X, formerly Twitter, posting celebratory gains absolutely convinced this was the next great semiconductor story, a mini NVIDIA in the making. The confidence was palpable, and anyone questioning the valuation was dismissed as not understanding the technology. Then, on November 3rd, reality arrived, and it was brutal. The company reported its Q3 2025 results, and it was a mess. They missed on EPS, reporting a non-GAAP loss of $0.09 cents per share, when analysts expected a loss of $0.05. Cents. They missed on revenue, coming in at $10.1 million versus expectations of nearly $11 million. But that wasn't the part that caused the stock to gap down and crash. The kill shot was the guidance. Management guided for fourth quarter 2025 revenue of just $7 million. Let's be perfectly clear, the analyst consensus was for $10.36 million. Guiding to $7 million is not a miss. It is a catastrophic failure of expectations, a sequential collapse. The stock's 25% two-day implosion was the sound of the market realizing the story was, at least for now, completely wrong. The panic in the trading communities was immediate. The disbelief was tangible. Posts shifted instantly from to the moon to what is happening and we are getting manipulated. But this wasn't manipulation. It was a direct consequence of what management said next. The company explained this revenue collapse wasn't an accident. It was a choice. CEO Chris Alexandra and CFO Todd Glickman essentially announced Navitas 2.0. They stated in no uncertain terms that they are walking away from their traditional low-power mobile and consumer business, particularly in China. Management described that market, which was their bread and butter, as having quickly commoditized. The differentiation was gone, pricing pressure was intense, and they were done with it. Instead, they're taking all those resources and doubling down on the high power markets, the AI data centers, performance computing, industrial applications, and energy infrastructure. This is the pivot. They're abandoning the business they have for the business they want. The NVIDIA partnership is the North Star for this new direction, but the earnings call revealed a terrifying gap. Management stated they see Q4 as the revenue bottom and expect gradual growth in 2026, but they don't see significant contributions from the AI data center market until 2027. 
This is the core tension driving the stock into the ground. The company is asking investors who just bought in at all-time highs on the AI hype to wait more than two years for that hype to become meaningful revenue, all while the current revenue streams are being intentionally shut down. The analyst community, which had been cheering the stock on, fled for the exits. Rosenblatt Security, seeing the gap between the story and the balance sheet, slashed their price target from $12 all the way down to $8, maintaining a neutral rating. Craig Hallam and CJS Securities both downgraded the stock to hold or market perform. The consensus rating, once a strong buy, is now a confused mess, with many targets sitting below the current post-crash price. The stock is technically broken, having sliced through every support level on massive volume. It's now trading in a void, completely detached from its old narrative and desperately searching for a new one. And this is where the retail versus institutional battleground gets incredibly heated. We have to talk about the short interest. Even before this disastrous report, Navitas was one of the most heavily shorted stocks on the market. The most recent data from mid-October showed a staggering 45.5 million shares sold short, accounting for over 29% of the float. This is an astronomical number, far higher than the peer average of around 10, 10%. For weeks, retail bulls on social media have been framing this as a David and Goliath fight, believing the high short interest was a sign of a manipulated stock just waiting for a squeeze. The earnings report, however, just handed the bears an arsenal of ammunition. The shorts weren't betting against GAN technology, they were betting against the company's valuation, its cash burn, and its ability to turn hype into profit. The $7 million Q4 guidance was a complete validation of their thesis. You can feel the frustration online. The retail holders who bought the AI story are feeling betrayed. They are now trapped. They see the high short interest and are screaming for a squeeze, but the fundamental catalyst for that squeeze is now delayed until 2026 or 2027. Meanwhile, the bears are pointing to the shrinking revenue, the negative net margin of over 180%, and the $15 million in non-GAAP operating expenses expected in Q4 against just $7 million in revenue. The company is burning cash with $150 million left. That's a decent cushion, but it won't last forever if they have to bridge a two-year gap with minimal revenue. To make feels even worse for the retail crowd, a look at insider trading data from September shows director Brian Long selling massive blocks of stock, 500,000 shares, 455,000 shares, 750,000 shares, all just weeks before this catastrophic report. Optically, it's terrible. It looks like insiders cashing out at the top before the pivot was announced, leaving retail to hold the bag. So what exactly is Navitas? Stripped from the hype, it's a technology design company. It doesn't manufacture its own chips. It's a fabulous model like NVIDIA or AMD. Its intellectual property is in creating these GAN and CIC power ICs, which are objectively superior to silicon. They run cooler, switch faster, and are smaller and lighter. This is why they're perfect for fast charges, which was their first big market. And it's why they are critical for EVs, solar inverters, and massive data centers, where power efficiency is a primary concern. The transition from silicon to these new materials is a genuine, multi-decade trend. The market for GAN and CIC is growing rapidly, estimated to be over $16 billion in 2025. The technology is real. The market is real. The question is whether Navitas as a company can navigate this brutal transition. Looking forward, the battle lines are clearly drawn. The Navitas 2.0 expectation is that $7 million in Q4 is the absolute floor. Management has ripped the band-aid off. From here, the bulls expect to see a new foundation built on high-quality, high-margin revenue from the industrial, solar, and EV sectors throughout 2026, all leading up to the 2027 AI data center boom. They're betting on the technology and the NVIDIA partnership. They also see that 29% short float as a coiled spring. If Navitas can beat that laughably low $7 million guidance in Q4 or announce a new unexpected design win in the AI space, the resulting short squeeze could be monumental. This is what the remaining bulls are holding on for. Comment below with your thoughts. Do you believe the strategic pivot to high power markets is the right move or is abandoning their main revenue source right now a fatal error? 
The reality, however, is that this is a company in transition, and transitions are expensive and dangerous. The execution risk is now high. They're competing against established giants like Infineon, ON Semiconductor, and ST Microelectronics, all of whom are pouring billions into their own CIC and GAN capabilities. Navitas is still a small, unprofitable company trying to fight in the heavyweight division. The bear case is simple. The AI revenue is too far away, the cash burn is too high, and the competition is too strong. They believe the stock will continue to bleed out as the market's impatience grows. This $9.89 price point is therefore a point of maximum tension. It reflects neither the bull's dream of an AI-powered future, nor the bear's prediction of a cash burn field collapse. It reflects profound uncertainty. The expectation was a high-growth rocket, the reality is a complex, painful, and deeply uncertain corporate turnaround.